Here we have a route that is used in two places. The first one is when we simply visit the board page, and the second is when we also want to load a specific card. Now, if we take a look at the controller action, we see that we use route model binding to get the board and card, we then load the lists and cards onto the board model, and finally return an inertia view with both the board and card passed as props. However, if we think about it, when we click on the card, we don't really need to load the lists and cards again. They are already on the page. We only need the card prop. Fortunately, Inertia offers a way of making partial requests in which we can specify the exact props we want to load. We can go to our card list item component, here where we have the Inertia link that opens the model, and pass it an only attribute with an array of props we want to get back. So I'll pass only, and we want the card prop. Now, the way it works is, when we specify the array of props you want to receive, the Inertia JavaScript library making the request sends the desired props as a header. Then, on the server, Inertia looks for that header and filters out the data in the array we pass to the render function. So, in our case, Inertia will only return the card prop. However, there's nothing stopping this query from being executed. Even if we were to move it here, directly inside the array, this code will still run. The only way to delay its execution is to wrap it within a function that may or not be executed later. So here we can do fn and paste that in. Now when a partial request comes in, Inertia can take a look at the props we asked for and only execute the function if that prop is part of the requested props. In our case, board is not part of the requested props, so this function won't be executed. The easiest way to test it out is to place a dying dump here Go in the browser, click on the card, and as you can see, there's no dying dump screen here. However, if we were to remove the function, go back, click on the card, here's our dying dump screen. So, when you have optional props, props that are sometimes not needed, you can wrap them within a function and then make partial requests by passing the only attribute with the exact props you want to receive. It won't necessarily make your application a zillion times faster but it will definitely reduce the load placed on your database. This was Tiny Tip number 5. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye!